Uh, Opera browser, Vodafone settings, because this uh, has a Vodafone SIM in it, and peep. Okay, if you give me a second, I'll just log in and see what this works, or see how this works. Clone on record. Put in my uber complicated password, which is four M's in the silent key. I'll try and spell it correctly as well, that usually helps. Okay, it's done looting the tweets. You know what kind of harassment I'm getting at the moment? Tweet, tweet. And it makes a tweeting noise whenever you receive tweets. Uh, right. It's downloaded quite a few, plus all the pictures as well, which is quite nice. Uh, menu update now. New tweet, new message, update location, my profile settings, and search settings. What kind of settings do we have? We've got the account name, download last, let's go for 250 because this is a pretty hefty device I'm sure it can take it. Download tweets automatically every hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes is a bit, ah, 5 minutes is hidden there. Uh, picture host, TwitGoo or TwitPick. I use TwitPick so and shorten your host to a tiny URL, or that one seems even smaller. Okay, uh, direct our new direct message notifications, new mention notifications, notification sound, notification tone, currently set to alert twit. And you can pick from all the nasty ones on the device. Notification vibrate. So it's not buzzing away every few minutes. Right. That, that, swiping that way would make it go on to the next tab, wouldn't it? It does. So let's see if all tweets does anything. Ah, it does. There we are. There's those tweets there. There's replies to me, direct messages which no one can see, and favorites. I don't favor anyone. Idiots by idiots, non stop idiot action. Okay. Footprints is still. I, I think I might actually make the effort and use that footprints thing. Well, that seems to be about it, uh, software wise and initial opening of bits and pieces. I suppose I'm going to have a look through some of these settings and see what there is here. There's personalized uh, wireless controls. Obviously that's the wireless manager. Wi-Fi router not connected. Data looks like push nothing really new there. Uh, signs and display. Data services location. I'm guessing that's the one that asked you at the very start. Improve location and HTC location service. Automatically decline location service in all HTC software, which is unchecked. Interesting. Security application manager applications. Let's remove them or managed ones. Uh, SD card and phone storage. It's total storage and the used storage. Uh, free storage. Total program. Used program. Free program. And I haven't put the SD card in yet. Date and time. Dates and feedback. Oh yes, I did that before, didn't I? <laughs> Other. Car kit mode, task manager, Microsoft My Phone and USB to PC. Microsoft My Phone, that actually just opens Microsoft My Phone. USB to PC is the screen that you would normally get when you link it to the computer via the USB cable, what it does. Okay. Although I've just noticed there's no connect as a USB drive. There's only the two options. Uh, task manager and car kit mode. Yep, that's a lot board. 
and a bite phone. If I can get over there. Ugh. Okay, phone identity, hardware information, software information. There's the OS number. For those of you who want to know which which version it's running. Uh, wrong version. On the wrong date. Today's the oh today's Armistice Day actually, so this this ROM is about two weeks old. Radio version, protocol version, and usage obviously is zero. Battery is now fifty-six percent. What was it, sixty-three whenever I first turned this on? I've paused it a few times. I haven't really done anything with the phone whilst I've paused the video. Wi-Fi has been going pretty steadily since then. Although we're now on GPRS as opposed to HSDPA. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the HD2. There are just shortcuts there, and you can have loads more. That's kind of nice, actually. That's one thing I always felt was uh, missing off the Touch Pro 2 because there was a space down here. You couldn't put anything there, so it's nice to see these here. And the the weather is obviously interactive there as well, but I could have sworn I said it a few minutes ago, but obviously it hasn't taken and I couldn't be bothered doing it now. So there we go, I'll have a review of the device up fairly soon. Uh, after I've played with it, I still have to review the Acer S200. So it'll be, it'll be nice to see these two you know, using them together. The screen is a lot bigger than the Acer, noticeably bigger. Device-wise, it's about the same thickness. Well, no, no, it's, it's I suppose with the curvature, you know, it, the, the widest point might be about the same as what's on the Acer. Okay, well, that's the unboxing of the HD2. I hope you enjoyed it. It's an epic 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 phone and uh, a lot of people are quite taken by it obviously a lot of people are a bit miffed that it's 6.5 as opposed to Windows 7 and there's still been no announcement as to whether this is going to be upgradable to Windows 7 uh, but I suppose this was out quite a few months before 6.5 appeared as was the Diamond 2 and uh, they still got the, the update so Oh, uh, right, okay, uh, we do that, and that turns off in the slightly bit like that, and we have another menu there, ah, there we go, set vibration, terminate data connection, that's, an, that's a pretty useful little button to have whenever you're locking the device. Alright, well there you go, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, look over, look at the website, uh, mobiletechaddicts.com, for a review in the future. Cheerio now.